Uh, hi there, my name is Matt McLean, and I'm the mental health strategist uh, here at UNB. And uh, I've been given a few questions uh, to answer for you. Um, and the first question has to do with belonging. And uh, this is something that, uh, or a topic I've been really interested in for a few years now, um, you know, looking at w well, how do we think and and how do we experience feelings of belonging, of connection? You know, how do we answer the questions of, uh, do I belong here? Do I fit in here? Uh, am I heard? Am I seen? Are there other people here like me? Is this a place I want to belong? And, and looking at what are some of the implications uh, around questions like that. And I think these are universal experiences uh, for for everyone um, thinking about those things. And those things, the answers to those questions can have a profound impact on how we uh, experience an environment um, and how we might perform in that environment. So, for example, coming to university, coming to UNB. Um, all of those those questions that I mentioned earlier uh, are things that you've likely thought about uh, already, maybe not explicitly, um, but in some way you probably couldn't have helped to think about those questions. And the kind of work that I, I look at is looking to expand really the the perspective of people uh, around who does belong here because uh, simply put absolutely everybody does belong here now that's not to say that everyone feels that way and there's there's lots of reasons that you might feel like you don't belong you know if you're an individual from from my, a minority group uh, if you feel like there's something about you that that sets you apart from other people you know you might be more likely to feel like you don't belong um because you know you might not see other people uh like yourself here you might not have as many potentially as many role models uh, in the kind of, of career or, or area that you're looking to pursue. And so because of that, um, you might feel like you don't belong. Um, and when we feel like we don't belong, you know, we don't tend to really want to put in the, the effort. Or when we feel like it's not about our effort, but about just not being accepted, um, then, you know, we're not going to we're not going to try. And one of the things that, that I look at or that we try to do is by, by showing uh, incoming um, students uh, or even upper year students that those kinds of, of feelings, those doubts around um, belonging uh, are experienced far and wide, are, are much more common uh, than we typically think. Um, but, you know, going back to that, that experience of feeling like you don't belong, because when you feel like you don't belong and you feel like you're the only one, um, that can be a really limiting, a really demoralizing experience. And so one of the ways that we look to counteract those kinds uh, of experiences to try to mitigate the risks that might come along with thinking like you don't belong um, is, is expanding that view is providing more, more role models, essentially, um, providing, you know, personal narratives from students from a wide variety of, of backgrounds that talk about, yeah, you know, I, I had that experience and I felt like I didn't belong and, uh, I felt like I was the only one. But then showing that for those those same people, uh, people that you might identify with, that that over time, um, you know, they themselves learned that other people share those those doubts, those feelings, um, and and that those kinds of things did get better over time when they took certain steps. But you know, which is like putting yourself out there, which is like getting involved in, in clubs, getting involved in, in different groups or speaking up uh, in classes, seeking out other people with similar interests. Um, 
that that they took those steps and that those steps paid off right that uh because you know those feelings of of loneliness isolation or lack of belonging they, they're like a lot of things a lot of challenges don't just go away on their own you know you have to take steps to make those things better but you know you're only going to want to take those steps if you believe that they're they're going to pay off in the end